So very good day to all of you at Tejaswini and Tejaswini's Tarot. So it's the time for the energy guidance for this week. So happy Dashera and happy Navratri to all of you. So we are in this, uh, this power cosmic Dashera window, which is at its full peak right now. And this guidance will come to you from 7th of October to 13th of October. But before the guidance and announcement, we have Tejaswini's one-to-one uh, -one in person sessions in Hyderabad from October 11 to October 15. The slots are getting booked now. So do book your slots for Reiki, past life regression, tarot readings, NLP trainings and so much more. Uh, go to the event page on Tejaswini, the event section of Tejaswini and go through the event and go through the services that are on offer in these one-to-one -one sessions and do book in your slot and enjoy the benefit of these sessions in Hyderabad. Now coming to the energy guidance for this week. So the shadow window at its full peak and all of us are feeling elevated, one notch up. So it's like a forward movement happening, a momentum being created and this absolutely new flow of energy which is the energy of clarity and light lightening up the energy has lightened up it was heavy last week but this week the energies are lightening up and a lot of darkness is getting cleared up in our lives in our planet and around us so a very fresh energy coming up this Week. So we have this card which is the Ace of Pentacles and this Ace of Pentacles uh, reads maturity. So we have this person who represents a minister, a counsellor, an advisor, uh, a helper uh, who is absolutely centred. You can see the flowers around, the halo, the light and a very peaceful expression of this person here. So a very, very centered, expansive person who is, who represents this energy of uh, being expansive, being centered, listening to your inner guidance and basically stepping into your power, owning up your power, being in that high vibe zone power zone and taking action. Now, since this is the uh, ace of pentacles, pentacles is about the material issues of life. So anything related to money, job, career, business, prosperity, abundance, manifestation and uh, taking positive actions in life, wealth, wealth in any sense, not only the financial uh, sense, but in terms of your happiness, in terms of fulfillment, in terms of uh, the potential, and also in terms of love. So if this card is brings good tidings in all these areas. It's, it's the card of a teacher. So pay attention to these energies, counseling, teaching, a wise man, all woman's energy. Uh, if these sort of energies crop up in your life in this week, pay attention to this energy. And plus, listen to your inner guidance. So inner guidance is very important because eventually we are, the inner light is important. The Atma Surya, the, the inner guide, the inner guru, inner teacher. So listening to both the what we have, we, we are being offered in the external world and also listening to your inner guidance is important. Maturity, being mature, wise, exercising discretion, being at peace, being centered, being expansive. And the card brings happy tidings. A lot of work you have done in the past, the foundation has been laid down and the rewards are coming and good uh, tidings 
in terms of abundance, prosperity, good news, good things happening in life uh, coming up in this week. So be expansive, be centered, be in your full potential, step into your power, radiate this light which this person is doing. It's a very wise person. He has this beautiful halo of light and those flowers which represent the multicolor, which represent a lot of spring, fresh energy, uh, vitality. So the card tells us to connect to this energy within us and outside us and enjoy yourself. So uh, do not forget to register for uh, Tejaswini's one-to-one sessions in Hyderabad from October 11 to October uh, 15. These are Diwali special. We also have a group prosperity process on October 14. So a lot of programs in waiting and uh, do away and uh, see you next week for next week's energy guidance and keep tuning in to Tejaswini's page on uh, Facebook and enjoy the posts, enjoy the sessions, enjoy so many offerings on the page. So see you next week. Goodbye.